Good evening. I'm Chanel Vioca Title, expert and owner of Wisdom and Authority Title Solutions. Thank y'all for tuning in and thank you in advance for subscribing. So tonight I will be talking about getting your semi or tractor trailer title and registered. Um, I will talk about the process as well as some things you will want to keep in mind uh, when you're getting your semi uh, title and registered. So let me start off by saying uh, getting your semi title and registered is a two step or two-part process, okay? Uh, during this process, uh, your vehicle will be titled first, um, and if there is a lien, the lien will be uh, put on as well. Um, after that, then your semi can get registered. Uh, most DMVs, they have uh, a motor carrier division um, that handles the um, IRP or a portion registrations for uh, tractor trailers, okay? Um, during this process, um, I want to share with you, it can be uh, lengthy, it can be uh, complicated. It really depends on where you are um, with the registration process. If you are a brand new uh, trucking company or carrier company, there are going to be expectations or requirements from the DMV. Uh, you will be required to show proof of your business name. Uh, your tax ID, your EIN number, um, and question uh, proof of address. Uh, sometimes they require two proofs of address, and these items must be in the business name if you're operating as a business, or if you are a sole proprietor or individual, uh, you will still need to follow the same requirements and must be in your individual name accordingly. So very important if you are a brand new a trucking company be prepared uh, to show those proofs in question. Okay. Um, now, if you are leasing, um, you know they will also require um, that lease agreement uh, as sort uh, pertaining to the tractor or the equipment. And also, if you are using someone else's authority, that lease agreement for that will be required as well. So normally these are the requirements for brand new, um, you know, carriers or trucking companies that are getting their IRP or a portion plate, um, you know, matters accomplished for the first time. And the process can, it can take a minute. Okay, so uh, just giving you that heads up there. Um, if you are already established, um, then when your vehicle is titled, then the newer vehicle would be added to your fleet. Um, and then the process will be, you know, much faster. Uh, sometimes you can get your IRP, uh, you know, done online or, you know, at, at the branch or whatever, and it can be a faster process. Okay. Um, but DMV, they will verify uh, different things. They'll make sure that your um, authority is active. Um, if you have uh, unsatisfied IRP or IFTA requirements, that can also affect your uh, registration uh, process as well. Um, also, any type of stops or issues with DOT can also impact your uh, registration. Uh, also, unpaid personal property taxes, um, highway use tax, Form 2290s, and I can go on and on. But these are the basic um, things that DMV will look into when they are processing your IRP or a portion registration. Okay, very important. Now, when you are getting your um, vehicle title and registered, there are some very important things you want to be mindful of. Let's start with the title part first. So the most important thing uh, it's going to be that weight. So, you know, for all of y'all truckers out there, the most important thing that y'all deal with every day is going to be that weight factor. You don't want to be, you know, uh, in the wrong zone when it comes to your weight because it could cause you to have citations. So when your vehicle is being titled, make sure that your weight is put on that title record properly because if your title has the wrong weight that is going to affect your um a portion plate and, and the weight that's going to be on your registration very important 
So you want to make sure that empty weight is, is correct. You want to make sure your gross weight is correct. Um, you want to make sure the combined weight is correct as well. Those three weights got to be good. You also want to make sure that your uh, outsoles are shown properly and keyed in properly on that title record. So if your weight is wrong, if your outsoles are wrong, this can cause issues for you down the road uh, with DOT. You do not want to get any unnecessary uh, citations uh, due to weight um, issues. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, on the uh, IRP side, you want to stay in compliance when it comes to uh, filing your uh, IFTA taxes on time. Uh, also, when it comes to your IRP, uh, you know, most uh, states have a cap card now where all of the uh, jurisdictions are printed. But if you are in a state where you do tell DMV you don't need certain uh, jurisdictions on your cap card, also convey that information to DMV so that your up uh, your IRP uh, cap card can be updated accordingly. Okay. Uh, also, when it comes to, I want to circle back around with the IFTA, uh, make sure your miles and your fuel, uh, everything balanced out so that, again, you know, you won't have any issues with your IFTA. Also, that will not delay you from, uh, you know, fouling on time. So if you have any issues uh, or need more clarification pertaining to getting your uh, commercial vehicle title and register your semi, uh, drop me a line below. Um, visit me and my team at wisdomandauthority.com. Uh, please check me out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Click share and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to hear from you soon.